Hello everyone. Today, we're gonna to try a T-bone experiment. First, we'll start by getting our pellet grill ready. We're gonna pull out all the racks, take the grease strip tray out completely. We're gonna leave it out for the entirety of the cook. We're gonna vacuum out the bottom of our pellet grill. You should do this before you cook every single time on your pellet grill. We're going to put it back together without the grease drip tray. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. We'll start on smoke. We'll go from there. Through the magic of some video editing, I'll speed this up. Our experiment today involves steak marinated in blueberries. We're going to try cooking the steaks two different ways. We'll put the blueberry steaks in a cast iron skillet. We'll do the other steaks just over top of the grill grates, indirect heat, and then over a flame. Let's get started. As you can see, the grill is now heated up. We're ready to go. Let's have a look at those T-bone steaks, shall we? Aren't those nice? I thought so too. Look at this blueberry concoction in a bag. Have you ever done this to your steaks? Look at that. Let's go ahead and wash these off. I've sped this up. Uh, this whole process will take you quite a bit longer than what is taking us now. There you go. Have a look at that. Doesn't that look wonderful? We'll put this in the cast iron skillet. It looks like something that came out of Charlie's Chocolate Factory. I know you'd love to have one. Man, that just looks fabulous. All right, let's set the grill up for direct flame. So we can go ahead and get a nice sear on those other two steaks. I've never tried this before, but look at this lovely flame. Don't those just look fantastic? I bet you they'll taste great too. These are done. I brought them to a temperature of 145 degrees. I'll take them inside and let them rest for a little bit. Let's go ahead and apply a little bit more heat to these. Toss these over an open flame to get a good sear on them as well. Man, did you see the juices run out as I flipped that over? I bet you wish you were here. All right, let's go ahead and pull these off. Get them inside and cut them up. Good evening guys. Welcome back to another episode of Not Just Cooking. 
as you can see we've switched things up just a little bit I hope you like that style of recording now the steaks are done over here on this side we've got the steaks that marinated in blueberries for a few hours on this side we have just normal steak cooked it the normal way now we're going to taste test these and see if there's any difference whatsoever uh, we'll go from there let's find out so what are you eating there regular regular let's do it It tastes like a regular steak. It tastes like steak. <laughs> Pretty good. Switch over to this side. Sorry about that guys, the battery died. We're going to switch over to the blueberry side. Figure out if this blueberry stuff makes any sense. It tastes the same, I think. Because I, well, it don't even taste the same. It tastes like steak to me. It tastes like regular steak. There you have it, folks. Don't put your steaks in blueberries. We tried it. Both of them taste exactly the same. Now we're also going to have some broccoli and cauliflower. Six ounces of T-bone steak. Total calories for this meal. 363 calories. You can't beat that. We're going to eat dinner. We'll see y'all later.